good afternoon. Hi everyone, if you're here, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section with your name so that we can say hi to you. Hi! Come and check in and leave your name so that I can give you guys a shout out. Hi Monica! Teacher Monica's here. What about the other kids? Don't forget to say hi! We have a lot of time left before we start, about 8 more minutes, since it's still pretty early. Hi Cheska, nice to see you! Always nice to see you here. We have 8 minutes before we start, so this is a good time for you guys to start getting your materials. It's very easy today, you just need paper and coloring materials, that's it! You just need paper and coloring materials. And then you can join. Hi Teacher Julia! Don't forget to say hi in the comment section, okay? So that we can give you guys a shout out. Again, while we're waiting, you can go ahead and prepare the materials that you need. You just need, pa you just need paper and coloring materials. That's it. That's all you need. Paper and coloring materials. So you can have markers, you can have colored pencils, you can have crayons if you want to use crayons or colored pencils, it's entirely up to you. Just make sure that you have your materials ready with you. For those of you who are just checking in right now, come and say hi in the comment section. Leave your name over there so that I can give you guys a shout out. And I hope that you guys are doing okay this rainy day. Is it raining where you are? It's pretty rainy where I am. Okay, we have about six more minutes. Six minutes before we start. That's still a lot of time. Hi, teacher Julia. Hi, Julian. Hi, I Noah. Oh yeah, you love Greek and you love um, you love ancient Greek and you love Greek gods. I know. Hi, I Noah. Nice to see you here. Hi, Riz. Nice to see you. I'm so glad that you guys are here. We got a lot of fun things to do today. Well, we have a fun thing that we're gonna do today. So get ready for that. Five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes before we start. And again, if you're here, if you're here, just come and say hi in the comment section so that I can give you guys a shout out. That's right, just paper and coloring materials for today's class. It's pretty rainy today. I'm actually glad that it's rainy because it's a lot less hot today. It's just a lot gloomy, so it's kind of making me want to go back to sleep. Have you guys, um, did you guys nap today after lunch? Or it's, it's only three o'clock. It's actually still nap time. Five more minutes, guys. Hi, Michael from Manila. Nice to see you. Welcome. Four minutes, guys. Come and say hi in the comments. Hi, Marichu. Hi, Marichu. Are there other kids who want to type in their names in the comment section so that I can say hi? And so that I know that you guys are here so that later I can check up on you. And I can check up on your, art on your artwork. Sorry, not art materials, but on your artworks. And once again, for those of you who are just joining us now, Please prepare your paper and your coloring materials. That's it. That's all we need today. We won't be sticking some stuff or like um, cutting. We're basically just going to draw something really fun and really cool today. So get ready for that, guys. We 
have the same hair length. Oh my gosh, you know I really want to cut my hair already because it's super long. Do you still like how long your hair is, I know? Hi, Keisha! Hi, Kyla! Nice to see you guys here. Kyla, I love the emojis that you put. There's a heart, there's a smile face, and two flowers. I love it. And nice to see you again, Keisha. Are you guys ready for art today? Are you guys ready for art today? I hope you guys are ready for art today. Because I'm kind of actually very, I'm not kind of, I'm actually very excited to do what we're going to do today. Because it's a lot of fun and it's very easy and very simple. And you can do this not just for today, but you can do this all the time. It's a cool trick that I'm going to teach you guys. It's a, it's a fun art skill. Hi, Jai. Ocasia is from Las Piñas. Oh, that's pretty near me. It's pretty near Alabang too. Do you always go to Alabang Town Center? For those of you who are running out, just saying, for those of you who are running out of coloring material, I had to go to the mall this, um, this week because I had to get more markers. But it's um, good news is that the National Bookstore in Alabang Town Center is already open. So, you guys can head on over there. No, not you guys, because um, I don't, kids aren't allowed outside yet. But your parents, you can ask your parents, please come to, uh, please go to Alabang Town Center and get me some um, markers and crayons and uh, colored pencils and all of that if you need to replenish your art supplies. And that's open in Alabang Town Center. Get that, kids? Okay. You love your hair length. Hi, Harry! I'm Gil. Is, is that Gilly or Guile from Emos? Hi there. Oh, I love the hearts. All the hearts, I know. I love the colorful hearts. Okay, we have two more minutes before we start, guys. Two more minutes. And get ready. Alright, I don't think you've been there yet. If you haven't been to Alabang Town Center, you should go. It's a lot of fun in Alabang Town Center. So many fun places for you to hang out. Well, not right now because it's um, quarantine. But when everything else opens up, there are a lot of really fun and cool restaurants. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Daniel. Of course I remember you. You guys are always here. And I love that when you guys are here. I love that you guys are always here. Hi, Daniel. Nice to see you. How's your Pokemon? <laughs> I know that you love Pokemon, right, Daniel? And it's Cassie again. Hi, Cassie. And all the hearts. Oh my gosh, I love all the hearts. There are multiple hearts there. So many hearts. I'll give you hearts too. Finger hearts. Or a heart. <laughs> Alright, one more minute before we start. Teacher, do you like rainbows? I love rainbows. This is why my background is a rainbow. And it's actually perfect because it's sunny. It's, sorry, it's rainy outside. And I'm hoping that the sun will shine again. And um, maybe there's going to be a rainbow. Don't know. You can take a look outside the window later after class. But yes, I do love rainbows, Kesha. I really, really do. Hi, Zian. Oh, thank you, Cassie. And thank you for your hearts. I'm giving you more hearts. All right. Are you guys ready to start? It's 3 o'clock. And we always start at 3 o'clock, which means it's time for us to count down. Everybody, let's start the countdown. Can you count down with me from 10 to 1? Yes? All right, let's all count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, hi there, everybody, and good afternoon, and welcome to another session of Spark. And it's time for us to start off our art class for today, but of course, as we always do, we will start off the day by singing our song, The Magic of Stories, because it is our favorite make-believe song. So are you guys ready to sing and dance along with me? Yes? If you guys are ready, say, I'm ready! All right, get ready, everybody, and sing along and dance with me, okay? All right, and everybody dance. Come side to side like this. And roll your hands like this. Get ready to travel to Crystal Seas and look around like this, okay? Have you traveled to Crystal Seas? Ran on rainbows, ran on rainbows and swung through trees. 
All you need is to find the key. Read a book. Read a book, you'll see. And telescope. That the eyes can see. Monster. With furry monsters and kings and queens. And can you high five the screen like this? High five! And thumbs up. It's possible, you see. With the magic of stories. With the magic of stories. You can be anything. I'm going to be a warrior. You want to be. It's my sword. Climb a mountain. Climb a mountain. Swim the sea. Find a treasure. Find a treasure. Come with me. Climb a mountain, climb a mountain, swim the sea, find a treasure, find a treasure, come with me, and point to the screen, you can be anything you want, and point to the person beside you, anything you want, and point to it, and do this, anything you want, and everybody close, Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you guys join me whenever I sing and dance that. All right. Oh, Cassie is a unicorn. That's awesome. Well, once again, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Spark Session with a Labang Town Center. My name is Teacher Nini, and I'm from a group called Make Believe Productions, and I'm so, 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 so excited to be here with you guys today because we are having another session of our art class. Now, for those of you who were able to join us last Monday, the story that we did was, what was it? For those of you who were here, how many of you were here with Teacher Monica last Monday? It was such a great story. It was Hercules. That's right. And Hercules is our theme for the week, which means that's a lot of talk about Greek gods and goddesses and ancient Greece. Are you guys familiar with ancient Greece and all the gods and goddesses like Zeus and Hera? And Hercules and Hades and Phil. Oh no no, Phil, Phil is not a god. Uh, like Her Hermes and um, Aphrodite and all those gods and goddesses of ancient Greece. Well, today what we are going to do is we are going to do an ins a Greek inspired art. So do you guys know what a mosaic is? Can you all say mosaic? Mosaic. Mosaic, well, mosaic, a mosaic is a type of art where you put together small pieces of shapes, different kinds of shapes of different colors to form a picture. So it's kind of like a collage, but in this case, collages, you put it on top of each other. Um, mosaics, you just put right beside each other. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures just so you guys know what I'm talking about when I say mosaic. Okay, sit tight, everybody, while I get my pictures. All right, can you see that, guys? This is an example of a mosaic. And another one, this one too, it's a giraffe and a tree. So can you see there are shapes? So like what in the first picture, um, there are different kinds of shapes. So there are squares and there are um, the petals are different kinds of shapes. They look like leaves like that, very petal looking and then different colors. And then the different shapes put together form a picture. So like this one too, it's dolphin. And for this one, the artist used all squares for this one. And usually, guys, when they make mosaics, they use um, pieces, broken pieces of tiles or ceramics. And that's what, that's what they use. And they have a special glue of some sort that they use to put together the picture. But because we don't have broken tiles and broken ceramics, because that's a little bit difficult, what we're going to do is we're going to translate mosaic into a drawing. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. Something like this. So this is what's something that I experimented in. It's a mosaic inspired drawing. And as you can see, different shapes. I put together different shapes and just filled it up with color to form the picture of this owl. Did you see that, guys? And that's what we're going to do today. That's what we are going to do. And we just need paper 
just get a piece of paper, any kind of paper, preferably a clean paper, but it can be scratch paper too. And of course, your art materials, because you are going to need to, you're going to need some color, lots and lots of color, okay? So before we flip over the camera and get started on our artwork, I'm just going to remind you guys of our three rules. First rule is to explore so there's no right or wrong way of doing this i might show you how to do it but if you want to experiment and try on different shapes than the ones that teacher's doing you are free to do that definitely the second rule is to keep creating it's a bit rainy today so the signal might get cut sometimes but don't worry because we will always get back we will always come back so if your video freezes or sound if it sounds a little bit weird you can just um re reload reload refresh the video and i promise you we're always going to come back okay all right and the third and most important rule is to have fun so are you guys ready to have fun yes all right we are ready to do this before i flip the camera i'm just going to read some of the comments astria daughter of eros goddess of justice innocent oh wow you're doing a storytelling in school? Oh, that's awesome, Case Cassie. That's very um creative. And Daniel, oh, Daniel, there's a lot of heart eyes. Star eyes, sorry, star eyes. You are the daughter of, oh, I know it's the daughter of all the Olympians. Oh my gosh, you must be so powerful. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Well, let's explore, keep creating, and having fun. And we are ready. Hi, Nikki, I see you. And hi, Anya, I see you there too. Okay, I'm just going to set up my um my tripod so that I can block the camera. Sorry. Weird angle, teacher. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and just fixing it so that you guys can see. And now I'm going to flip the camera, cover the camera and flip it. Oopsie. There you go. There's just a little bit of um, shadow right here, but don't worry, you guys can still see what I'm doing, right? You can still see what teacher's doing, right? Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so now we are going to get started with our mosaic drawing art so we are going to do something like this a little bit simpler and we are going to get started so get your pencils or your markers whichever you want to use whichever you're more comfortable with and let's get started Ooh. okay maybe some of you want to draw using a pencil or some of you want to go ahead and get started with your markers teacher's music is too loud sorry about that okay all right, so what I'm gonna draw today, I'm just gonna make it a little bit simpler, is I'm going to draw a mosaic sun. Ooh, a sun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And you guys can copy me, but the first thing that you need to do is to think of what you wanna draw. If you wanna copy me and do the sun, that's also fine. Or if you wanna make your own, you can have like an animal. You can make, um, you can make a unicorn, you can draw a unicorn, or you can draw a flower, or like what I showed earlier, like a dolphin. It's really entirely up to you, okay? But I'm just going to start and draw a sun. And you can try, and you can, you guys can also copy me if you want. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. The reason why I'm drawing a sun is because I wanna play with the rays of the sun. That's a lot of fun to, ooh, sorry about that. So I'm just drawing a circle. Hi, Audrey. Nice to see you here, Audrey. And that's right, Keisha. The third rule is to keep creating. So you guys can already follow along and decide on your picture. So what you're going to do is, it's very easy. You just choose your picture. And then later, I'm going to show you guys the different shapes that you can do with your mosaic drawing. Okay? So I have my circle and... I'm just going to draw the rays of the sun. And because um, it's not really going to be... It doesn't have to be super accurate and super perfect. As long as, of course, you have the image of what you want. The rays of my sun. Oh, my owl keeps sticking. So this is just a drawing of the sun. So you can be as artistic as you want. You can have just eight rays. My teacher is going to be a little bit more ambitious and put a lot of rays in my sun. Which actually is starting to look like a sunflower. Maybe later I can decide if this is really a sun or a sunflower. We'll see. They have, kind of have the same color anyway. Sorry, same shape. Okay. 
Okay, there. It looks like a sunflower. <laughs> Teacher, can I invite your friend? Yes, of course you can invite your friend. Okay, and Cassie is going to draw a whale. Okay, and once you have your drawing, the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to outline it. Preferably use a black marker. So, so just trace the edges of it. Oh, teacher's marker is running out. Let's get the other one. So just trace it so that there's, um, you outline the shape. And then just keep going. Again, no right or wrong way of doing it. Like, I'm drawing a whale, but Cassie's drawing... Sorry, I'm drawing a sun, but Cassie's drawing a whale. So it's really entirely up to you. Teacher's marker's running out. Oh no, that's okay. Where is my, my other marker? That's very creative, Cassie. running there. Okay. So there, it looks like a sunflower. Maybe it is a sunflower. Who knows? Can leave in the comment section what you guys are doing you can just write it over there in the comment section tell me what you guys are doing all right so I have my sun slash sunflower you're drawing Poseidon's trident with a lightning beside it that's cool you can actually do that you can make um shapes you can draw like a heart you can draw a flower hi Lumina nice to see you you can have um you can have a star or a moon whatever you want as long as of course you have a shape right there in the middle because that's where we start off. Just make sure that you have a very solid shape right there, like me. I have my race or petals. Maybe it's going to be a sunflower. And then the circle over here. Hi, Bricks! Nice to see you here, Bricks. I was waiting for you guys. Hi, Ian and Amber. Present as always. Okay. Now, once you have your shape and once you have outlined your drawing, the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to fill in, like what I did with the... Owl. The next thing I did was I filled the shape inside with lines. So for this, for the body of the owl, I used different circles and I just overlapped the circles. For the wings, I used zigzag. For the, um, for the tail of the owl, uh, I used squares and diagonal lines that made, that kind of look like squares now. And then for the eyes of the owl, I just used lines. And then for here, I just used some squiggly, squiggly lines. So it's entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way of doing it as long as you put shapes on your drawing. So for this one, say for example, for my the center of my sun slash sunflower, I'm just going to start drawing circles in it, different different shapes of uh, different sizes of circles. So it's entirely up to you. You can draw zigzag, you can draw oblongs, you can make heart shapes, as long as they overlap each other. Make sure that they overlap, that's the most important thing, okay? So this is kind of like, if you remember, if you were here during that week we did pattern art. If you guys were there during that week, we were able, we were just drawing random shapes everywhere. And there. You can just keep drawing and drawing. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. If you want to draw some sharp edges, that's fine. If you want to keep it circle, circular or rounded like teacher's doing, that's also fine. There! So I was able to put these circle shapes inside. You made a unicorn cupcake. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yes. I figured, Bricks, you were on another account because I couldn't recognize the name. It's a different name. All right. And then once that's done, you can put different. Now you can choose to have the same small shapes inside your other figures, or you can choose to do something different. 
like for me I'm going to use um, zigzags like this for my shapes but I'm not just gonna leave it at zigzag I'm going to do double zigzags like that and line right there in the middle so if you can see there's lots of different shapes there and I'm just going to do the zigzag shapes in different ways so that it doesn't look all the same like that so it's not as even as I want and just keep going just keep making your shapes and this is fun because there's no there's no correct way of doing it so really you're just drawing and drawing and drawing and you don't even have to think about what you're doing sometimes you can just go where your pen wants you to go like that you can make um big shapes or you can make small shapes you just have to remember that if you make small shapes it means you're going to color more so you have to be ready to make that commitment for your drawing okay but don't worry it's fun to color stuff in going guys and draw and draw and draw there just keep making all your shapes how are you guys doing I hope that you guys are doing well Draw and draw and draw. Just keep drawing. Maybe teacher made too many petals. That's okay. <laughs> See? Just keep going. And we're on our last one. Well, I'm on my last one. There. So you have your drawing. What are we doing? Oh, sorry. We are making um, mosaic art drawings, bricks. We're going to do something like this. So just draw a figure or a shape and then just fill it up with smaller shapes. Oh, that's good. Hi, Antonia. You love to draw hearts and circles. Oh, I, and I bet your drawing is now full of small hearts and circles. Okay. And once you have your drawing, and once it's all filled up with all these kinds of shapes, now all you have to do is just fill it up with color. So you can decide. So since this is a sunflower for me, I'm just going to... I changed it now to sunflower because it looks more like a sunflower than the sun. <laughs> so I'm going to fill it up with color. And you can choose whatever color you want. But here's, this, here's the catch, kids. What you can do is you can choose specific colors. So say, for example... Like what I did for the for the owl. I chose shades of blue and purple for the eyes and I just used that and I alternated it. And for the for the body of the owl, I chose different um different shades of red and orange. So it's different kinds of red and orange just there. And even for this one, I chose different kinds of shades of purple, but it's all just purple. But the different shades give it um a nicer look. The different colors make it a nicer look. So you can choose, for example, for this outside, I'm going to use shades of orange. Different shades of orange. So I'm going to choose different kinds of orange. This one, and maybe um, a little bit of, sorry, yellow. This one, different shades of yellow and orange. This one, this one, and this one. And maybe one more. Maybe this shade there. So I chose different colors i chose these four shades and i'm going to use that to color all the petals and what you need to remember is of course to make them alternate so that there's more um so that you see a depth in your drawing i'm just erasing all the pencil lines so that i don't color them in so that we don't see them there there
there. And then once you have that, you can already start coloring. So I'm going to color the side, the outside first, since it's a lot of petals. I'm going to start with a petal over here, and I'm just going to start coloring. And I'm just going to swap, swap them, swap, swap the colors. Make sure that the colors aren't close to each other. Just keep coloring it in. So like this one, for the outside, I use shades of blue and gray and black. So it's kind of like a night sky. And it looks like the nighttime, right? It looks like it's nighttime. You made a lightning bolt with Christmas ornaments. No, you're not going to cut it out, Bricks. But you could, uh, afterwards, You want if you want to cut it out, you could cut it out. Like say, uh, like for this owl, you can cut out the owl if you want to. But you don't have to. You're making a full picture right now. And then just keep filling it up with color. And you can just keep going and going and going. And this might take a while, but that's okay. Well, teachers, it's going to take a while because teacher put a lot of shapes. But you guys, maybe you guys drew something smaller. Maybe you guys would... Um, Complete your picture first. But yeah, just keep going and going. Filling it up with all the colors. So that it looks like... I'm trying to make it look like a sunflower or the sun. There, just keep going and going. See, it's starting to look like, it's starting to look like the sun already because I'm putting all different colors. How about you guys? What colors are you using for your drawings? So the colors don't have to be as varied. If you want to make it a little more similar, that's also fine. And there. So there, just try to alternate it as much as you can doesn't have to be super perfect. But make sure that you use different shades so that it looks like a mosaic. See? You see that the different shades are starting to take to look nice it's already starting to look nice you're also using some watercolors oh wow that's cool cassie watercoloring is fun so there just keep filling up your drawings And of course, don't forget to upload your drawings or send them to us privately. Whether you, you, you can send it to ATC or you can send it to Make Believe's page. And if you want to upload them and show them, you can upload them with a hashtag TinyTownieScreate and hashtag MakeBelieveAtHome. Just keep filling it up with color. Lots and lots of different colors. It's already starting to look really cool, right, guys? And there's ha there's um there are two Pikachu stocking in our comment section. 
Cassie and Daniel love Pikachu. And they're talking about Pikachu. Not even talking about Pikachu, but they're talking like Pikachu. In the comments section. You changed your mind and now you want to make an ice cream dog. Oh my gosh, Kesha, that sounds so interesting. I hope you can show me with that because um, I want to know what an ice cream dog looks like. I'm very interested to find out what an ice cream dog looks like. Okay, how about you, Bricks? What are you do doing? I think some of you are concentrating on their artwork. I'm sure the ones who said hi earlier who are quiet now concentrating which is good means you guys are really focusing on your artworks and there just keep filling it up I bet your drawings are starting to look really awesome, guys. There. Oh, look at it. Can you see it? It's already starting to take its shape. It's already starting to look like a flower slash the sun, which is what it's meant to be, a flower slash the sun. Hair. <gasps> Isn't this a cool trick, guys? If you guys have coloring books at home and you're kind of tired of just coloring them the exact same way all the time, you can try doing this technique. Or you can even um, use this to make letters for your parents or if you want to make postcards or just cards, greeting cards. Especially for Father's Day, maybe you can use this technique. You can learn how to do this. Well, you're already learning how to do this. And you can use this to make a card for your dad. This technique of coloring. Because it's so fun and it's so easy. It makes it look extra special too. Yeah. The flower is really starting to look. What's my favorite color? I actually really like the color yellow. That's why this, this picture is actually making me very happy. Because there's so much yellow in it. I like yellow because it's a very happy color. How about you guys? What are your favorite colors? Maybe you can tell us in the comments section. Air. You're making Jupiter? Oh my gosh, Harry, that's so cool! Maybe you guys can, sh can um, show me. I really hope I get to see your drawings. So I know that... So I can see what um, the ice cream dog looks like and what Jupiter looks like and what your lightning bolt and Poseidus, Poseidon's trident looks like. So the reason why we're doing this this week in Hercules week is because a lot of art from ancient Greece, especially their jars, we like to use a lot of um, mosaic 
they use mosaic. But even today, a lot of um, the way they do their art, or even the, the way they decorate their homes, the outside of their houses, lots and lots of mosaic there. But they use the real kind, like they use tiles, broken tiles, broken pots, broken ceramics to color in their, uh, to fill in their shapes. There! Oh, it's starting to really look like a sunflower! There. We have three more petals left. How are you guys doing with your drawings? I bet yours are looking extra special and extra beautiful and colorful. Blue, yellow, light blue, pink, black, white, and violet. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of colors. Lumina's favorite is pink and red. Oh, Cassie, I hope you can show me what your whale looks like. And Zeus. Yeah, Zeus. Zeus is a Greek god. He is the god of lightning. He can strike down lightning. Oh, maybe every time, um, every time there's a lightning... Every time there's a thunderstorm, you can say hi to Zeus. Hey, hi, Zeus. Every time you see a lightning bolt in the sky, every time you see the lightning in the sky, you can say hi, Zeus. My favorite Greek god is Poseidon. He's the god of the ocean. I love Poseidon. Maybe because I love the ocean. That's why I love Poseidon. How about you guys? Do you guys know the Greek gods? Who's your favorite? How many of you like Apollo? Or Athena? Or Hera? Or Aphrodite? Maybe a lot of you guys like Aphrodite because she's very beautiful. She's the goddess of love. And there's also Ares, the god of war. Ooh. And there's also one called Hephaestus. He's the one who makes Zeus's thunderbolts and lightning. Sorry, not thunderbolts. He's the one who makes the lightning bolts of Zeus. His name is Hephaestus. And there's also Hermes. Whose name is also Mercury. And he's, the, he's the one who delivers messages. There! <gasps> the petals are done! It is now a sunflower. Teaching Nini, your favorite Pokemon is Sogaleo or Lula, Lunala. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, thank you for sharing that, Teacher Nina. Teacher Nina said, Teacher Nini, Hel Helios is the Greek sun god and it's perfect for my sun, su sun slash sunflower. Apollo is the Greek god of the sun. Oh! Cool! Reminds me of the stained glass window like the ones in church. That's right, Julia. Kratos. Astria, because she's the goddess of justice. She stands for truth. But Apollo is the Greek sun god. The Greek sun god. Okay, well. We are done with our petals. It is now time for us to color in the inside. So I'm going to use this time, I'm going to use shades of brown here. Because um, the inside of a sunflower is brown. So I'm going to choose again four different shades of brown for this one. Ooh, where's my brown? Okay. Maybe I'm going to choose this one, tan, and brown, of course. Tan, brown, and burnt sienna. I think burnt sienna is more red, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Okay, that looks fine. And you just lots of crayons. I love my crayons. Do you guys, what's your favorite, what's your favorite, um, 
coloring material? Do you like using markers? Do you prefer using crayons? Do you prefer using um, paint? What's your favorite coloring material? I don't think it's my first time to use this one. Burnt Sienna. There. And I'm just filling in the inside now. How about you guys? Hephaestus, Hephaestus, sorry. Kratos is the god of war. That's right. Apollo and Helios are sun gods in Greek mythology. Oh, that's so cool. Amazing. You guys know a lot about Greek mythology, huh? Have any of you guys watched um, Percy Jackson or read Percy Jackson? Is that why you guys know a lot about Greek mythology? I read all of the Percy Jackson books when I was much younger, a long time ago. That's why I love, I also love the Greek gods. I love reading about them. They're very cool. Okay, done with that one. Let's use this color. <gasps> it's starting to look really full crayon and pencil zeus hera artemis apollo aris what's your favorite coloring with oh yes medusa is my favorite antagonist oh i love medusa too i know all of them though i read all the books to know them better that's good cassie you always need to read. Keep reading so that you can keep learning. It's very good to keep learning. Have you guys been reading a lot this quarantine? I hope that you guys read a lot too. Aside from doing art and playing. Make sure that you guys pick up a few books and read. And join us in our storytelling so that you guys learn other stories too. Lots and lots of other stories with teacher Leslie and sometimes with teacher Monica. Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus. Yeah, I love the I love that book. The series. Two series. I think I only read the Percy Jackson series. I wasn't able to read the I wasn't able to read anymore the Heroes of Olympus series. I think I was a little bit old that time already. He <laughs> I'm sure I was a little bit older that time. So I wasn't able to read that anymore. But all the Percy Jacksons, I loved them. I absolutely loved them. I love their adventures. It was a lot of fun. Also very dangerous. It's always dangerous when you go on adventures. How are your drawings, guys? I hope that you guys are finishing up with yours. Oh, my sunflower is starting to finish. To get fin to finish, sorry. Starting to be complete. Mmm, very interesting. Ta da! 39 clues, Medusa plot, more than 50 chapters. Wow, that's a lot. 50 chapters is a lot. I'm glad you love to read. All right. We're finishing up with our drawings. I hope you guys are too. And you don't have to stop with your drawing. You can actually fill up even this part, like what I did for the owl. I filled it up with a night sky. That's why um, it's shades of gray and black and blue. And you can do that also with this one. Well, with whatever drawing you have, you can fill it up with more color. Say, for example, you can... Um, 
fill it up with blues or yellows or pinks even or even green if you want there is teacher actually done i'm done with my sunflower what about you guys how are your drawings how are you doing with your drawings we still have a bit more time, so maybe I'm going to add just a few more outside. Maybe I'm going to draw extra leaf over here. A leaf over here and a leaf over here too. So that the drawing is complete. Let me see how that looks first before I draw it. Okay, I'm going to add some leaves, just two leaves on each corner. And over here. And for this shape, maybe I'm going to do like the one I did for the face of the owl. Curves and then some squiggly lines like that. Are you guys finishing up with your drawings? I hope that you guys are finishing up. But if you're not, don't worry, we still have time. We aren't done yet. We still have some time to be together. So no rush. We have a few more minutes together. So isn't it so cool you can just use any shape that you want absolutely any shape you can just keep drawing some lines and then you realize that you're actually already making all kinds of shapes different kinds of shapes too so now I'm going to use different shades of green for this because it's the leaf. The leaf. What I'm going to use green, of course. Forest green. <laughs> so many kinds of green. Green, forest green, yellow green. So many shades of green. Okay, maybe I'll just use three shades of greens. My ice cream dog is starting to look good and I made my ice cream rain, but oh my gosh, Kesha, that's so cool. I really want to see what your ice cream dog looks like. That's really amazing. And I'm sure that it looks fantastic because you used all kinds of colors and you made it look like the rainbow, which is amazing. I love the rainbow. Bet that's looking so good. Bricks is almost done. Teacher Nini, what is that music that you are playing? I'm just playing some royalty-free music that I found on Spotify. Um, so that we don't get flagged down by Facebook because um, we need... Yeah, so I am using... The song is called Limitless. I just found it online. And Spotify, sorry. There. You put background, what is, oh, you put the background. That's okay, Cassie, we still have time. Did I think your sunflower representing your love for nature. Oh, thank you so much, I know. I do really love nature and the sunflower is a great representation of my love for it. So thank you. And bricks also, okay, don't worry. We're not yet done. We still have 15 minutes together. So you guys still have time to finish up your drawings. I'm so glad I made Artemis happy. I like Artemis too. Yes, okay. So 
So the coloring that you do is just really random, okay? Just fill it up. If you find an empty space, just fill it with color. And then you can always go back and just fill up the other empty spaces. If they still look like they need more color, just keep going. Again, no right or wrong way of doing this. As long as you love how it looks, that's what counts. Because it's your creation. Thank you, thank you, Ayan. You also made an ice cream rain, a rain, an ice rainbow ice cream. Oh my gosh, Kesha! You know what? Your drawing is starting to make me hungry for ice cream. I want to eat ice cream. Maybe I'll have some ice cream after class. <laughs> if there's ice cream downstairs. If not, maybe I should buy. If you guys want to buy ice cream, I think um, South Supermarket in Alabang Town Center is open. You guys can check that out and buy yourself some ice cream. Say, Mom, can we go supermarketing in South Supermarket so that I can get some ice cream? There. I have also ripped paper so it looks... Oh, wow. Bricks, that's such a great idea. You ripped your paper. So that it looks like, um, it looks old. Looks like an ancient map. That's a smart thing to do. So that it looks like, it looks more ancient Greeky. Greeky. Is that even a word? Teacher, Nini, you're making words up. Okay, guys, you have 10 more minutes to finish up your drawings. Fill it up with all the color that you can put. Well, as much as you want. And then, wrap up. For those of you who aren't finished yet, even if I give you the 10 minutes, don't worry. Because you can always continue after this video plays. You can just keep coloring and finishing up your drawings. And then, don't forget to post them or upload them on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag TinyTownyScreate and the hashtag MakeBelieveAtHome so that I can see the drawings that you guys made. Sunflowers! Don't sunflowers make you happy? Do you guys know that when sunflowers can't find the sun, because you know that sunflowers always face the sun, right? If they can't find the sun, they look at each other. Isn't that amazing? I find it very amazing. They just look at each other so that they can find a source of light. And they, they become each other's source of light. Isn't that amazing? That's so nice. I think that's very sweet. And I'm done! And I think a lot of you are done also. Done, done. Drew a cookie for my whale so she can eat. Oh, you trip, ripped it by accident? Well... Bricks, you know, sometimes the best creations come by accident. Especially art creations. Sometimes when we make a mistake, it actually becomes a much beautiful, much more beautiful artwork. So, I'm sure your artwork became even more beautiful because you accidentally ripped your paper. Coloring the solar system. Harry, that's so cool. Ice cream sounds good right about it. Isn't that right, Teacher Nina? Okay, well, we are done with our drawings. For those of you who are finishing up, five more minutes. But while we do that, I'm just going to flip the camera over so that you guys can see me. And I can talk to you guys better too. While we wait for everyone else to finish up. I'm just going to cover the screen. And put away. And flip the camera back. Hi! How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are almost done with your drawings. Oh, Teacher Nini's hair is so... Magulo, because <laughs> it's hot. Okay, so there, we were able to make our own mosaic drawings. And it was so simple. All you needed to do was to make a shape, any kind of shape or any drawing. And then just fill that drawing with smaller shapes. And just fill it up with colors of different shapes. And you were able to make your own mosaic drawing, much like 
the art in Greece. So a lot of Greek, if, if you notice, if you research a lot of Greek plates and um, pots and jars, they actually have mosaic patterns on them. So that's very, very cool. Thank you so much. I'm glad that, hi, Anna. I'm glad that you guys like my sunflower. I actually really like it too and my owl. And I hope that you guys had a lot of fun today. So for those of you who are finishing up, I'm just going to give you guys some reminders. For those of you who always join our Spark Sessions, I'm just going to remind you and invite you to please like the Spark Sessions event page so that you guys get updates on what we are going to do for the next weeks. Yeah, so just like that page. Just click going. Sorry. It's an event page. So you have to click going and then you'll just get updates. And sometimes you'll also see some pictures from the week that we had. That's gonna be really cool. And then of course, don't forget to like Alabang Town Center's Facebook page, this page, Alabang Town Center's Facebook page, and also to like Make Believe's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok accounts. Oh my gosh, so you will see lots and lots of different updates there. All right, well, I think it's about time for us to wrap up because it is almost 4 p.m. Oh, look, you see my brother. <laughs> And it's almost 4 p.m. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. I hope that you guys enjoyed our art. Please join us on Friday. Teacheria is going to be here, and she's going to have a cooking class again. I think you're going to make the Meal of Champions. What that meal is, I'm not sure yet, but you will find out on Friday. So join us at 3 p.m. on Friday, and I'll see you guys again. Me, I will see you guys again next Wednesday for more art sessions with Alabang Town Center. So once again, my name is Teacher Nini, and I'm from Make Believe Productions. I hope you guys had fun. Don't forget to upload with hashtag TinyTownyScreate and hashtag MakeBelieveAtHome, and we'll see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. See ya. Mwah. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Bye.